All right, hey everybody, it's Antagonist Kim, and we're back with more Disco Elysium. So, uh, we bought the map of Martinez for 90 cents. <laughs> I didn't trust myself to steal it, because I wasn't confident enough, but it's okay. Um, our narrator just read, uh, The warm map features the patchwork grid of the streets of Martinez, with directions appropriately touristy locations. Year 48 resides on the upper right corner. Uh, we're going to trace a path through the grid. Your finger moves through the various streets. Across Rue de Songs is Lane and Rue Saint Sipar, over Saint Brun and Martinez North. Finally, coming to a halt on the spot where you are currently standing, although the map gives no such indication itself. For a more detailed view of the map, go to your journal and select the map tab. Okay. Our journal. Uh Still feels like I should be able the to worn do map features the patchwork grid of What's our journal? Oh, just maybe our regular thing. So did something else new come up for it? Not really. So how do we view? Did new ones pop up then? I don't know. Shoot. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. I did not. <laughs> I did not see this. Why is he so well lit? Oh, it just tells me where the stuff's at. Ah, okay. The mirror is in there. Warded door is her stuff. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. This is great. This is nice. Okay. Well, we're gonna... We're gonna exit out of that. Uh, we should be able to sing our song now. I think. I might do a little more looking real quick. Several maps. The maps look old and faded. Your eye catches a map. Okay, last bit is this, right? This bookstore is not strictly about crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. There's also a wide range of paranatural literature. Look through the shelf. Amidst the various books, you find one written by someone named Matthias W. Dundas. It's about wholeness, unity, balance. These three things are very important to the working class mind. The point of the book and many others on this shelf, is to give people medicinal advice in situations where they don't have access to paid health services. Okay, but how does that work? It serves platitudes, while also telling everyone that traditional medicine, the kind people don't have access to, and which costs more than this book, is garbage, and would only <laughs> give you cancer anyway, without even curing your cold or anything. Wholeness, unity, balance, on the other hand, can basically take care of anything. Though it is important to note, when it's up to your mind to heal yourself, then it's because of your mind that you're ill in the first place. Uh, does the book say anything else? The book features chapters on topics such as how to find magnesium. It even lists plants you can harvest magnesium from. How to continue drinking if you're an alcoholic who has <laughs> destroyed his liver. And... There's even a chapter on the ancient Serais tradition of using duck gold bladder preservatives to treat and prevent hmm. sexually transmitted diseases. Pre and post factum apply. Nothing worth buying. This is just mundane garbage. What's even paranatural about this? Uh, let's do it. Inland, uh, what's truly... Uh, let's find something other worldly. The throbbing in your head increases with every <laughs> passing moment you gaze at this shelf. Suddenly, as if out of nowhere, a small green book becomes apparent. The title of it reads, Medicinal Purposes of the Pale. Uh, what's the book about? The book contains descriptions of various pseudo-scientific therapies, alternative medicines, and folk remedies involving the pale. 
also known as Le Territoire. For example, it recommends vigorously swatting one's naked body with a venic or hand broom made from the leafy twigs of a young birch tree from the near pearl. Ah, uh, sounds, uh, painful. It is supposedly invigorating and good for the circulation. All right, what else? It also recommends consuming distilled spirits like vodka or whiskey that have been aged in the pearl. Readers are instructed to cover these jars in a shallow hole just inside the pearl and leave them there for 30 to 60 days, depending on the potency desired. Okay, and what does this pale aged liquor do? Among other benefits, it is alleged to restore a damaged liver to perfect health. Oh. That seems improbable. Dang, I should probably get my hands on some of that. What else is in there? For general health and well-being, <laughs> readers are encouraged to take regular strolls through the pal. Though a sidebar cautions readers to limit each stroll to less than an hour. These strolls promise to cleanse the mind of worries and the body of toxins, especially if the perambulator performs this ritual in the new. <laughs> Nudity figures prominently in a number of these prescriptions. This is exactly what you need. This is what I need. I need to cure my liver. Entropenetic nudism? That's insane. That's beyond dangerous. Okay, well, anything else to note? There's an entire section devoted to cures for men who are struggling to perform their marital obligations. I'm not sure if I need that. You close the book and return it to its place on the shelf. It's four bucks, let's do it. Indeed. Something about that book does seem to have spoken to you. Well, I hope it contains what you're looking for. Yo, okay, we got two new books in case we got... <laughs> in case we got to pass time. The other stuff is a board game. I'm not entirely sure what we do with that. We bought all the Heimdall books, I think. We passed another check, which is great. Oh, hello. There's something down there? Holy cow, can I use this? So let me Do I need do I need this? Something down there? Maybe the crowbar instead? What on earth? Why The musty smell of potato cellar in spring emanates from the air vent. Let me down in the air vent. Why, why am I uh, being told there's things, but I can't reach them? What else? Maybe, maybe this? So... Why can't I do this? What is down here? Why would I why would I view this without it letting me in here? One more time with the big boy thing? Can we open this? No? At all? Nothing? The flashlight one more time. Come on, please. Why, why won't it let me spot the item? Can I go into here? Actually, now that I think about it. Can I open any of these cellar things? Anything? The vent? This one? Dang game. Why are you doing this to me? Gives me a hint. And then let me in. I feel like I have all the tools to be opening this. Hmm. The dented yellow mailbox greets you with its graffito and bullet hole. Hmm. Ah, very well then, game. 
play or sit games. What about down here? Well, do we think it's time for us to do anything? All these guys are still here. When is it time to not be doing this? Looking for something? Try it in here again. God, I want so bad for this thing to progress here, but... You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. Okay, what's the raincoat? What is what? Um, it's a raincoat. If you want to buy one, then it's only for Royale. Her attention is drawn to the raincoats. Stealing one undetected will now be more difficult. Oh, because I asked about it? Uh, okay. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint-Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. I might actually buy some more health because I don't okay. have a lot of those. Yeah. I hope Saint-Baptiste makes you feel better or something. Okay. Hmm. That was interfacing? What you was see that? several Savoir raincoats. Sure. Sure. We'll... We'll try it. Why not? Why not? Minus Savoir Faire is a no. 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 Not very good, is it? You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottle. 42%. Well, oh well. Let's go. Let's dress in all of our drama gear so we can uh, sing for everybody, I think. I guess. Why does this always do that? I hate that it does that. Hmm. It really bothers me that I can't get down there. Why would it tell me that? That something's down here. But then not let me proceed to figure out how to get down there. It's quite troublesome. I could just read one of our other books, too, now that I think about it. Like, The Pale. It says there's something very important for us in here. It will still provide some warmth or comfort. The Greatest Innocence by Joao Paulo Salomão Lopez de Fuego. The book is large and heavy. Oh, uh, well, well, may I save that for the other one? What about this one? Medicinal purposes of the pale. The cover of this heavy tome features a number of esoteric symbols. Open it. Flipping through the book, you find a number of sections on the general benefits of the pale. A large pharmacopoeia makes up nearly half of the book. Uh, what's a pharmacopoeia? You come across the following explanation. While modern pharmacopoeia are continually updated by so-called experts based on the results of clinical trials. Readers will find assembled here the timeless wisdom relied upon by generations of traditional zeolite medicine practitioners, mesk mystics, 
and Ilmaran folk doctors. Uh -huh. It's all quackery, in other words. Finally, something to calm the angry spirits that have been plaguing you. Okay. It seems to contain descriptions of the medicinal properties of various ingredients that may be gathered from the pail, as well as instructions for producing a variety of herbal remedies. Interesting. Um, is there anything that can help about restoring my lost memories? There are a number of co -like tonics that promise to improve your short-term memory, but nothing that speaks to your condition. Um, I just want something that will soothe the relentless torment of my existence. What you're describing is booze. You don't need any herbs for that. No, we can't do that. Any cure for apocalyptic hangover. There's nothing in here that speaks to hangovers directly. However, while browsing through the various descriptions, you become convinced that you could assemble something from the ingredients listed here. Want to give it a shot? Uh, sure. Yeah. All right, book. Let's see what you got. First, you need to choose a base ingredient. Ginger root, spring of mint, common meadow root. Uh, how about ginger root? Next, you'll need to combine the base ingredient with an appropriate vehicle. Mix it with a dram of whiskey, boil it with a tea from birch bark, mash it into a paste with some aloe vera extract. I mean, a tea makes more sense. Lastly, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, pomegranates would probably be good. The ginger root will help with the nausea, and the birch bark tea will help you flush out the toxins. The pomegranate seeds are a natural aphrodisiac as a nice bonus. Okay. The very thought of this tea causes your muscles to relax nice. and your mind to clear. You're more present and in control than you were a moment ago. Dude, yes, okay. Savor the feeling a moment longer. A tingle rushes down your spine and you nice. feel your toes uncurl. If only it could always be like this. Oh, so we could do this again. Okay, um, what happens if we do do this? Is it just... Let's save that. So put the book away. Let's interact with it one more time. The face of King Freecell smiles at you. For some reason, the smile now strikes you as more forced oh. than it did. Not the, not that. This one. Medicinal purposes of the pearl. The cover of this heavy tome features a number of esoteric symbols. Open the book. Flipping through the book, you find a number of sections on the general benefits of the pearl. A large pharmacopoeia makes up nearly half of the book. All right, what about just general health advice? Have you taken any walks through the pal recently? Uh, well, yeah, we do it all, all dang day. And on your walks, do you stop to meditate on the nature of your being? I do, a lot actually, because of you guys. Good. And when you meditate, are you in the nude? Uh, no. Nudity is the most important part. Of the many ways modern society prevents our true selves from manifesting, clothing may be the most repressive. Okay. You probably can't even take off your pants, can you? Nor should you. Nudity is shameful. No officer of the law should ever be called sans pantalones. Um, I mean, you're right. I should probably keep the pants on. I mean, I could, but Kim's here. <laughs> it's true. Your partner is even more repressed than you are. It would do you both a world of good to spend a little more time getting in touch with your bodies. God. You glance over at the lieutenant, who is standing as usual, with his hands neatly folded behind his back. What he's thinking about, if he's thinking about anything at all, is absolutely opaque to you. Okay. Okay. Okay, are we in the clear for people existing here? Kids are still here, that doesn't help. It's evening now, right? It's like seven o'clock. He is still here, what in the heck? Well, you know what? I don't know. We're just gonna pop on in there because it's like it, it, it is nighttime, right? I mean, it's like seven o'clock, right? Yeah, it's 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 almost eight o'clock. Maybe we'll wait another ten minutes. Uh, let's do um, 
We'll get dressed while we're waiting. Um, it was all dramatic clothes, right? Drama is what gives us the best... Uh... Okay. Hold on. Okay. I feel like we should put those on. Okay. No, we need drama, not minus one drama. Okay, we're still going. Shivers to authority, no. No. And this. What are the jeans we're wearing? Electrochemistry. I mean, the interfacing glove's alright, but that is plus four to, uh... All of our other stuff. Sure, 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 sure. And what are these? To Savoir Faire? Sure. Visual calculus is not great in that, but hey, at least that's something. I think we decided that's quite a bit of stuff. Alright, game. Let's... Can we make it darker out? So we have more people to sing in front of? That's, that's like the main goal. Maybe if we go in. Can we go in? Annette, how's it going? Hi, Ace Detective. Are you here for more books? Like, shouldn't these guys be closed? <laughs> I must be, like, going crazy here. Is it really not, like, that time yet? The book appears to be erotic, but without actual erotica. Okay, but... I can't do anything with these books. I can't touch them. I can't do anything. So I'm, like, finding new stuff, but... It doesn't let me do anything with anything, including the below section. I... I want to open up that thing. What do you mean there's something down there? It's really going to bother me, guys. I want to know what's down there so bad. Let's go in, I guess. Sure. I mean, there is one extra dude here. This guy. Oh, there is quite a few more people. All right, we're doing it. <laughs> we are doing it now. We are dramatic. We're ready. The stage is all set up for your performance. Feels silent. You can hear the pellets creak under your feet. You feel a little dizzy. A little unsteady suddenly. So, uh, are you ready for your thing now? Dressable. Let me know when I should turn on the karaoke carousel. Okay, hold on. Let me. I think the only thing that's really messing our vibe. Okay. Okay. I think. I think we're ready. Let's do this. Let's sing. The stage is all set. You feel it. So, uh, are you ready for your thing now? Let me know when I should turn on the karaoke carousel. God, Gart hates this. I'm ready. Look, Kim, I'm going to sing karaoke. I can see that. I'm ready for your performance. Put your lips against the microphone. Let's test it. Immediately, a loud feedback noise startles the room. You feel like an amateur. How are you supposed to hold the mic? Should you just sing into it? Where should you stand? Hands. Where do you put your hands? Damn, I should have just left it alone. Let's do it. The air Hell yeah, is baby. thick with anticipation. Someone dims the lights as the music starts. Okay, here we go. Guys, we're doing it.
I would often go there to the tiny church there. The smallest church in San San. Though it once was larger. How the real may rest there. Down through the mist there. Toward the Seven Sisters. Toward those pale cliffs there. I would often stay there. In their tiny yard there. I have been so glad here. Looking forward to the past here. But now... You are all alone. None of this matters. No, none of this matters. At all. Damn, guys, we're good. Nice. It gives us everything we sang. Guys, our voice, our actual voice, yeah, about to say the ancient reptilian voice. Ancient reptilian brain, guys. Nice work. Okay. Um, if you guys want me to read this, I can. So we got 30 XP for that, which is great. Um, I would often go there to the tiny church there, the smallest church of St. Saints, though it once was larger. How the real may rest there, down through the mist there, toward the seven sisters, toward those pale cliffs there. I would often stay there in the tiny yard there. I have been so glad here looking forward to the past here. So now you are alone. Not all this, none of this all matters. A lazy applause fills the room. You feel your hands shake as awareness of your body returns to you. Uh, thank you, ancient reptilian brain. There is silence now, in the deep, where the voice came from. It has receded, to return only in dreams and nightmares. This guy really carried you. Okay, I want to dedicate the song to whoever wrote me that fucking letter. I still love you. Thank you so much, asshole. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate this song to my partner, Kim, not a lieutenant. I'd like to dedicate this song to Gart for letting me sing it. It's all shit, Gart. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate this song to the pale nothing that will devour the world. I want to dedicate this song to anyone I performed it for. Oh, I didn't want to. Yeah, we, we did really did it for ourselves, but... Cause it's a sad song. Pour under for myself. The microphone amplifies your voice in an uncomfortable manner. Someone coughs. Most people have gone back to talking now. Good, good. Are we ready? I want to unplug the microphone <laughs> now. Last words? Let's leave it emmatically. Nice. All right, y'all. We sang our sad song. It's off the list. Oh yeah, done. Look at this. Our whole list for Monday is just ridiculously long. Um, ooh, little buttons are kind of freaking out. Uh, confront pig. We have to wait. Despite lacking any obvious... Oh, no, it's this one. Uh, you need to meet her near the old fish market at 2200 and get your service weapon back. Just walk past the fishing village until you see the boardwalk. Holy cow, guys. We did it. Great job. Uh, Kim, anything new to say after I sang that song? How you feeling? Yes. Nope, nothing? Okay. How about you, Gar? It wasn't so bad. I sang it pretty well, right? Ah, smallest church in Saint-Saëns, right? 
Yeah, the church is actually my past. Yeah, the church is actually my life. Yeah, the church is actually my love. Things are really bad with it. I fucking rocked that shit. Told you I'd rock that shit. It was all right. <laughs> Subdued. I might start letting people up there again. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, okay. Told you I'd do it, buddy. I told you we would be good at it, man. We did it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Monica's uh, boobies are apparently large. Anything else new? Hi again, gendarme. Bye bye, gendarme. All right. I mean, these guys saw the performance. Is there anything new with anybody? Anything at all, guys? Again? I. Okay. I don't think there is. I'm a little bit sad about it, but oh well. Unbelievable. Anything new with you? I've got nothing to say to you. Okay. And what was. We can just check, so we don't have to keep opening up to read it. What was his again? I don't think it's open anymore, right? Yeah, it's, uh... We need authority. That was our problem with that. Okay, let's get out of these clothes. Let's go into, like, our kind of more tough guy clothes. Police coat seems to make more sense. Oh, well, pain threshold's kind of nice on this one. Reaction speed in case we need that. Nice. Do we want this or the other one? Visual calculus. We'll give it the shivers. Rhetoric is the tie. Perception's good. Inland Empire. Sorry guys, one second. I mean, composure could also still be really good. Sure, we'll do that. Ooh, we don't want minus one authority, though. That's a good one. It says minus to authority. What are we still wearing that's minus authority? It's these, right? Minus logic plus empathy. This might be our best look yet. Alright, let's go. We got our big meat claws on. We got our really cool other thing on. These dang kids are still here. I don't know if we'll be able to pass this much time, but... See what we can do. We gotta go near the fish market. Which I believe is actually back back here. Don't really remember. Hold on. Let's try to find it. Or maybe we'll do a shorter episode and then do the other part later. Let's see. Um, we could give what's his name some alcohol and he can maybe pass more time for us. Maybe we'll do that. Because we need to be after 2200. So let's... We have alcohol with us. Let's maybe give him one. Let's see if he does anything else. Tequila Sunset. I want to hear the story of your name again. What's in a name? Hey, Spiral Boy. You gonna share that? Shut up, guys. I'm telling a story here. 
Something happened to you. Something happened to me, too. My actual name is George. But around here, you already know. I was once a reasonably high net worth individual. A founder slash junior partner at a high concept create. So you don't want to just hear the same story again. Okay. Okay. I do. But as you can see, my fuel tank is running quite low. If you catch my drift. Uh, yeah, Commodore Red. Let's Classy. Do it. He snatches the bottle and pushes a cork through the bottleneck. The tale I'm about to tell you is an urban legend particular to Martinez. That said, I first heard it from a former bicycle courier in Koran. There are many variations on the basic story, and the details often conflict. What everyone agrees on is that nobody knows the exact nature or identity of the phenomenon. Okay. Are you telling the story of the Headless? Shut the fuck up, Rosemary. <laughs> <clears throat> Summer of 44. 17-year-old Gertrude Hett is walking home from a late shift at the harbor. It's almost midnight. She stops for a cigarette near the canal. Our heroine finds herself enjoying the peace and quiet the canal provides. He looks up to the skies as if searching for peace himself. What she doesn't know is that her peace is about to be shattered. From behind her comes the clattering of hooves. Startled, she turns around, and what does she see? Uh, we'll just, we'll, we'll appease him. I don't know what, buddy. A headless man, wearing a foul tracksuit, riding a horse. That's right. It's the headless faun rider. All right, now we actually have this figurine right now on us. Rumored to be searching for his legendary faun cap that went missing when he lost his head. Hey, so hold on. Um, I have the figurine. He's riding a bull, girl. I thought that he rode a headless pig. Lieutenant says with a little smirk. Well, there are many versions of this story. The most peculiar of which has the headless found rider riding on the back of another headless man. Um, that's, a uh, that's super spooky. It sounds pretty crazy to me, man. If I hadn't lost my keys that one time, I'd agree with you. But, life is a cruel mistress. Takes a sip. Gertrude Hett may have been the first to witness the headless found rider, but she wasn't the last. Oh no. Tell him about the two feminists by the locks. <laughs> Fuck, Rosemary, they were dating. No one said they were feminists. Everyone always misremembering this stuff. Hmm. This wouldn't be the De Ponte Delgado case, would it? What? You know it. I've read the case file. But please, go on. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Early autumn of 46. Ula DuPont and Eva Delgado are fishing near the waterlock long after the sun has set. The wind picks up. A sky already dark now blackens. Water starts falling from above. The first cold rain of the season. The women are caught in the downpour. They act quickly. Eva gathers the rods whilst Ula turns around to reach for the tackle box. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. When she sees something, her shriek is so violent that the residents of the nearby apartment building believe lightning has struck. But there is no lightning. Only a heavy downpour and the silhouette of the headless faun rider looming on the horizon. Ula makes a run for the shore, but Eva slips on a wet rock and disappears into the cold, cold canal with nary a sound. Her body is never recovered. He looks you straight in the eye. Uh, Kim, what actually happened? Naturally, Ula De Ponte became the prime suspect in the disappearance of Eva Delgado. De Ponte maintained that it was the so-called headless fallen rider and that she ran fearing for her life. He adjusts his glasses. During the investigation, it became apparent that there was a love triangle, the third party being some small-time businessman. I don't remember the exact details. The leading theory was that an argument broke out on the jetty and De Ponte pushed Delgado into the canal, then cooked up this stupid cover story. 
So they're saying for a small time businessman. Are they talking about him? Uh, the guy telling our story right now? Because that's what he is, right? And he had a girlfriend and all that. Was she arrested? No. She committed suicide before she could be taken into custody. They found her in the bathroom with a rifle, her face slowly peeling off the ceiling. Not a pretty scene. Got it. Man, that's some grisly detail. Oh well. Here's to another case closed. Takes a hearty swig from his bottle. Anyway, that's the story of the headless foul rider. Pretty crazy, huh? So who was he before he died? Well, Tequila, that's part of the legend. No one knows for sure. There are a couple of possibilities, though. Some say he was an undercover cop who blew his cover and got beheaded by the vicious gang he had infiltrated. Now he rides, searching for his lost found cap, plotting revenge. O oh, headless brother, where art thou? Others claim he was a professional jockey who veered off course during a steeplechase, ended up in somebody's backyard, and got decapitated by an exceptionally taut clothesline. Personally, I think he was just some guy who hanged himself from a really tall tree, and the fall was so violent that his head came clean off. Okay. Coincidentally, at that exact moment, a horse happened to pass under him, and his beheaded corpse mounted it, where it remains to this day. But then, no one really knows. Okay. For some reason, this does strike you as the most plausible theory of them all. Um, I've got a hunch, hold on, wait. Uh, for some reason, this does strike you as the most plausible theory of all of them. Um, I've got a hunch that it was, in fact, an undercover cop. I'd want revenge too. I bet he was, he was the jockey. He seemed super committed to his sport. I mean, I've got to agree, your theory sounds actually kind of plausible. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what our inland is saying. Isn't it? All the pieces fit together perfectly. That's how I know it's right. Anyway, to each his own. You want to hear any other stories? Um, let's see. Uh, I've already seen some weird shit in my case. A headless jockey in a tracksuit kind of fits right in. Hard to argue is that, I suppose. That's the reality situation for you. You think you got a handle on it, then blam! It throws some wild shit at you. Uh, that's why it's critical to stay well hydrated. Alright, uh, that's nothing. I've got an even crazier story. Yeah? Why don't you go eat shit, Tequila? There's no way you know a better one than that. Yeah, I suppose nothing comes to mind. Damn right it doesn't. So why don't you just shut up and leave it to the master? Alright, whatever became of the found writer? No one knows. Some say he stalks Martinez to this day and can be seen near the canal when the clock strikes midnight. Mm. Love it. He won't, though, because it's just a stupid legend. Oi! I saw him one night when I was right shit-faced. Have you got any more urban myths? I actually do have one. The strangest of them all. But I'll need to fortify myself before I can tell that one. Do you have anything to fortify old Doom Spiral? Tell me you got some story juice. Um, I don't have any on me right now. If you find any, I'd be extremely grateful. Alright, well, we used up a little bit of time. What did I say, 2200? Boy, oh boy. Anything new with, with you guys? That's, no, not you. This one, actually. The legend returns. You know the dance. Smokable smokes, pissable pilsner, drink it, then convert it to piss. And there's spirits and speed too. Yeah, that's 300, what the heck. And what about you? Thank all. Thank. There's no waking him. Okay. Well, guys, we, uh... I guess, I guess we'll leave it here, because we're supposed to be going towards the, you know what, let's, uh, let's at least go towards the, uh, 
the fish market. That's where we're supposed to be, right? I want to say it's up here. Yeah, I think it's like right up here, right? Yes, it's, it's going to be, I think, this area right here. So, we'll, we'll stop by the stairs. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. Um, I might need to read the other book to pass a little bit more time. Ideally, I'd like Kim with us to get her gun back, but I'm not sure if that's going to work out or not. We'll see. Uh, we might end up having to have to dismiss him. I'm not sure how it's going to work. But yeah, we got to sing, guys. We sang our sad song, and we didn't fail it. That's great. So I'll see you in the next one. Appreciate you all watching. Bye for now.